Good morning. Welcome to my uh, Sunday wig chat here in my wig room. Uh, today's chat is going to be a, a few different things, a few topics, if you don't mind. Um, I was going to actually have a video. I was going to put up a video about me doing my, I bought this at the dollar store, this Alame Brow, Brow Lives On uh, liquid. You do this to your eyebrows. Um, this is in Auburn. But I decided not to do that. And then I was thinking about doing my magnetic eyeliner. I purchased a kit from Amazon weeks ago. I have yet to do it. And I was going to do a video about that. And I decided not to do that either. Um, today's video, first of all, I am wearing uh, the wig company's Fashion Fever. People had asked. I, can, I had gave her a silicone bath uh, last week. I can put that video here. I used this silicon mix that I have been talking about for a couple months now, I guess. Um, I bought this from Amazon. It's eight ounces. It was less than six dollars. I think now it's a little bit more. It went up. I think I went on there the other day to see what they had, and it was up to seven dollars, seven fifty, I think. Um, I highly recommend that. It added such a beautiful sheen to the fibers. Um, it made it feel like a new wig to me. Um, she is just just the, the, the tendrils just feel so like almost like a new wig almost like a new wig almost i can't say it is but a lot of the bird all the bird nesting is gone i didn't have to cut anything uh i did soak her well you can watch the video and, and, I'll, and i'll explain exactly what i did i did steam her and she's beautiful uh i also wanted to talk about today i am wearing a black sweater a little cardigan type of thing and i'm wearing these earrings um, a co-worker of mine passed away two years ago today from lung cancer. Um, she was a avid smoker and for the last two years of her life, she did stop smoking and went to those e-cigarettes, which I think is, is equivalent to the same. I don't know. I, I don't, I don't smoke, so I don't, I don't know, but, um, she passed away two years ago today and I was just thinking of her. She was 82 when she passed and she, but she was in good health up to that last point, um, uh, you know, it was one day she just was walking and I saw her and she was having trouble catching her breath and within a month she had died and didn't know that she had a huge, um, cancer of the lungs and it fed up to the larynx. And, um, so with that, I, I was just thinking about today also about what's going on in the world and um, talk about that a little bit about um, how we have to be diligent out there and just practice common hygiene washing your hands um, today is Sunday and I chose not to go to church I am a practicing Catholic and it was I thought about it and thought about it and last week when I went it is such a small interior of a church the church itself is not small but the pews the way they are situated there's not much room between each pew you're on top of each other and um i thought that's not i didn't want to be in a large crowd and the they were coughing people were coughing last week and i chose not to go i didn't want to take the chance of catching something and bringing it home um my husband did go he is a lector and couldn't find a replacement, so he did go and he practiced. He, he said, promised he wasn't going to shake anybody's hand, and he was going to use you know the gel when he, before he comes into the house to make sure he does, to caution not to bring anything home to us. Um, because of, I just mentioned before, we have a special needs daughter who is thirty, who is has a down, yes, she has Down syndrome, she has a di type one diabetic, and she has a thyroid disease, and we didn't want to bring anything home to her, you know, we're to keep her safe also. Um, in fact, with that, her, where she goes to work is as of right now open and we have decided to keep her home from work for the next week and we'll revisit it to see how it is next week, you know, whether she's going to go next week, but we're going to keep her home. I know they had special classes over there, uh, about hygiene and reinforcing the bathroom what you need to do in the bathroom, what you need to do in the cafeterias and, and for the breaks and stuff. But I'm not going to take that chance. We're not going to take that chance. So we told her we're just keeping her home for the next week. And, um, just to see, just to, as a precaution. So w that's part of the chat. What are you doing in your, in your areas, in your States? I'm here in South Jersey and that's what I'm doing. I know a lot of the cases are up in North Jersey, but still I, I'm just, 
you know, taken precautions. In fact, I just visited my mother over the weekend after yesterday, and she just got out of the hospital a few days ago. She uh, on a totally different matter, but she's fine. She's she's in good health. And um, when I got there, and I didn't hug her, I just did one of these elbows to her and my sister. And there, my mom's like, "What? What?" I said, "No, no, mom, no. You have to practice this. You're eighty, going to be eighty-five years old. You have to practice this right now. You can't." You know, be near people. It's, it was bad enough that you were in the hospital for t for two days, and uh, she's like, "Well, I said there's germs in the hospital too, mom. You leave and you walk and pass somebody. It's coughing. You know, you're you're there." So um, I said, "So I don't want to. If I'm carrying anything, I don't want to infect you. And if you have something, I don't want you to infect me." So I just practiced that. I practiced what they were talking about, and she thought. I think she thought it was a little bit of a of a you know dramatic effect doing doing elbows, but I. That's what I did. So, um, what are you doing out there in, in your states, uh, in, in your situations? Are you practicing this? Are you being diligent and staying away from people that are coughing? <laughs> you know, I know it's, it's easier said than done, but uh, are you staying home? I know the kids, most of the schools are closed um, for the next week or two. Um, so, how are you handling this out there? So that's what this chat's going to be here in my wig room um, today about um, my fashion fever, uh, about my friend passing, about what's going on in the world, and about how I chose to stay home today from, from church. And so I guess just everybody out there be safe, have a good week. Um, I did order some open box wigs from the wig company. I'm waiting to do reviews on them when I receive them. Uh, if you have a chance, go check that out. Uh, I know a few of you had commented back, so thank you for your comments, on subscribers, about uh, you buying those up open boxed wigs, and um, that's what made me just say go ahead, and I and I and I, and I purchased them um, because of your comments and how you told me you you got some great deals. So I thought, let me see what I can get, and I did. Um, when I say great, I mean a hundred and fifty dollar wig. I got this was open box. I got it for sixteen dollars. And um, they're for the summer. They're both for the summer. So I'm excited about reviewing them for you when I receive them. And like I said, thank you to your subscribers for commenting and letting me know that, yeah, you did it. And you're very happy that you did it. So if I could pass that on to anybody else. Um, if you're new to my station, please consider subscribing and becoming a, a subscriber of mine. And up here, like today's chat, it's all different stuff. It's, it's my journey of what I've gone through since I've been wearing wigs six months and counting. Okay. Well, with that, I'm going to say have a great Sunday. God bless. Be safe out there. Um, wash your hands. Stay away from people that are coughing in large crowds. And um, until next time, until I post some more videos about the reviews, I'll be, like I said, it'll probably be next week. Um, have a good week. God bless. Bye-bye.